Hello and welcome to my latest weekly newsletter. Just a brief newsletter this week, as I've been away for the last few weeks, as I've been away for the last few days, I've just got a lot of catching up to do. Um, but Ollie tells me uh, everything's been great here, the shoe trading continues to go well. Um, uh, if you don't remember from last week, it's a pair of uh, Foot Joy Contour Fit golf shoes, and if you trade your old pair in, you get £20 off the new pair. So uh, the new pair would be £99, but trading your old pair of shoes will now cost you £79. Uh, been very, very popular. Ollie's had to order another five pairs this week, so the members are really taking advantage of that. It's a fantastic shoe, uh, lever up, a really comfortable one year's waterproof guarantee as well. So if you're interested in a new pair of shoes ready for the winter, then please pop in and see us. We're also doing the shoe, hemo shoe MOT. Both Ollie and Jack are being busy replacing some old studded shoes. Um, so um, it's a basically what it is, it's a Shoe MOT, so you basically get half price studs. So if you need your shoes restudied, ready for the winter, then bring them in. They normally cost £12, but at the moment they will cost £6, so please bring those in. Okay, next on to junior news. Right, at the moment, uh, one of our members, uh, Stuart Sadler, uh, has put, and Tony Cater, our junior organiser, have put a claim into Aviva. Uh, to get some funding out of Aviva. Every year Aviva offers this funding for various sports, junior sports courses throughout the country and uh, we have put a claim, in, uh, put a, uh, a bid in for that, uh, the money. It's a £1,000 which will go towards our junior funds uh, to help further the progression of our juniors which are obviously doing very well at the moment but an extra £1,000 won't go amiss and we can really push them on to that next level. So. Uh, Below the video here, there will be a link to the Aviva page. If you can register yourselves, it takes a couple of minutes to do. You'll get 10 votes on which you can uh, vote on whoever you want. So if you want 10 votes to go towards the Galston Golf Club Juniors to raise up some funds for them, you can do that or you can spread it as much evenly if you want. But yeah, if you can support Galston Golf Club Junior section, if we can raise another thousand pounds to go into the junior fund, that really would make a difference uh, to our juniors at pushing them to the next level. So if you can do that, that would be fantastic. Like I said, the link will be below the video here. Right, next on to, we're gonna move on to competition news. And let's have a look what's happened over the last few uh, days or so. So we'll go back to, um, we'll go back to last Thursday, Stapleford. It wasn't part of the, um, it wasn't part of the, the midweek Stapleford aggregate because uh, a lot of people are away playing at the Alliance in Bungie. But uh, we did play Stapleford anyway, and Trevor Gerrard won with 37 points, beating Maro, Martin Farrow on countback also with 39 points. That was in Division 1. And, oh, there was only one division, sorry. There we go, got a little bit lost there. It was only one division because a lot of people were away. Talking of the Alliance over at Bungie on Thursday, uh, Galston Golf Club had a fine successful day. In fact, almost clean, cleaned up. Uh, Graham Lawson and David Moore actually came first with a fantastic 47 points, so well done you two, that is a fantastic score, well done, so they won. Um, Paul G and Tony Wren, another couple of Galston Golf Club members came second with 45 points, um, and Martin Pessel and Colin Ford came fourth uh, with 41 points. So yeah, very good, so a first, second and a fourth place for Galston Golf Club over the Alliance in Bungie, so well done to you gentlemen, that was fantastic golf, fantastic. Right, okay, next on to Sunday, we had the Todd and Turner Mugs, the men played the Todd and Turner Mugs on Sunday morning, and Andy Garrard and Andy Whitthames won with 45 points, well done gentlemen, that's a good score as well. Graham Leach and P. Bennett came second with 44 points, well done. And in third came Dave Henwood and Roger Cook on countback, also with 44 points. So some great scoring there. Wednesday, the ladies played their flag trophy competition. Let me just get the results up for that. And Rosemary Woodhouse won with a fine net 70. Well done, Rosemary beating Pauline Phillips into second with a 72. And Maureen Duckett into third with a 74. Well done, everybody there. Right, finally, to finish up with, we've got a new little toy in town, okay? For those better golfers, for the good golfers, take a look at that little beauty. The new tailor-made P730. Gorgeous looking golf club. Traditional bladed golf club. I've had a few hits with it and it is absolutely gorgeous. Feels lovely off the club face that. Um, but yeah, no, no technology really in that. It is what it is. Yeah, it's a bladed golf club. Uh, so no frills or spills with the blades, but they are fantastically nice to hit, nice to look at and yeah, 
I know I keep saying I'm going to go Mizuno Wines, but I think they may be the tailor-made for me next year. But yeah, they're really looking, real nice looking golf club. Um, it arrived uh, late on Friday afternoon. I've not stopped having a play with it since, really, Friday, Saturday. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, any of you good golfers out there in a new set of irons, then the P730, the tailor-made, the same one that Justin Rose uses and uh, a lot of the other good players use, um, it's worth, well worth a look at. We've got various different shaft options in here, as well as an extra stiff to try out in it as well, because I know some of you swing it a little bit faster than I do. But yeah, look at that gorgeous looking golf club, that. So if you want to have a little play with that, please come in and have a go. Okay, so that's it for this week. Oh no, it's not, we must mention fixtures coming up. Let's have a little look on our fixtures and see what's got coming up this week. So give me two seconds. Right, so this week coming up. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, we've got a busy day tomorrow. Uh, Friday, uh, the 26th of October, we've got the Junior Club Championships in the morning. They're going off between 10 and 11. The 18 holders will be going off first, followed by the nine holders. Just please be patient with the nine holders in the morning because they're all little. They're all sort of eight, nine, 10 years old. So they're gonna be a little bit slow. So if you can avoid sort of any time after that, it'll be great. Uh, the NSPGA are going out at half 11 at match against the ladies. Um, I think they're gonna have half 11 till 12.30, although we're gonna ask them to move back by half an hour just to give the juniors a bit more room. So tomorrow, busy day, juniors 10 to 11, NSPGA from 11.30 till 12.30. So just trying to work make sure we miss those. Uh, Saturday we've got a mixed foursomes competition going out between 11.30 and 1pm. Uh, Sunday morning, October 28th, we've got the monthly Stateford, men's monthly Stateford, so the golf course will be closed all morning. Uh, and then there's nothing else on until uh, Wednesday the 31st when the ladies got their Stateford between 9 and half 11. So that really is it for this week. Uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you all over the weekend. Thanks, bye bye.